Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of my auction block series. So today, guys, we I will be building a team based on your comments and the players you want to see added to the squad. So obviously, let's get right into it. First player that um I have I got commented uh, got commented and wanted someone wanted to see what came from Jay Hall. You said you want to see Adrian Peterson. So that is one player we will be using. Another comment came in saying that they want to see Terrence Williams. So that will be also someone we, we will be using. So let's get on to the auction house and see what cards we will add. My team is set up to how I want it based on, you know, how it's going to be. So let's get right into it. First ad we will make is at quarterback. We had a comment come in from... It's going to be difficult finding all the comments, guys, but I will try my best here. Okay, I'm not going to be able to find comments, so let's just go with what the names were. The guy, someone commented and said they want to see Drew Brees, so we'll start with quarterback, and we it was between Tom Brady and Drew Brees. I flipped the coin, guys, and Drew Brees did win, so... We will be going with Drew Brees to start it off. Let me make sure it's the cheapest one. Yeah, not cat value. Saints. And again, remember, the next six days, Monday through Saturday, will be online gameplay. And here is the cheapest Drew Brees. Uh, so starting off right away, that is our quarterback, Mr. Drew Brees. Again, our running back will be Adrian Peterson. Backing him up will be David Johnson. Um, I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do for this game uh, this week of gameplay at least just because of the fact that the backups don't matter as much Although they matter a little bit just not as much I'm actually gonna put Terrence Williams at fourth here because we are gonna get a new slot guy And we need you know the room so we can add him to the starting lineup Let's go to exit screen and now our next player will be our wide receivers so now guys, when it comes to our wide receivers, we will be picking up, let's see, one, two, yeah, three wide receivers here guys. So our first wide receiver will be our guy on the left hand side of the field, and he's none other than DeAndre Hopkins, obviously being a beast he is, and especially last night, all the, I mean not last night, Thursday night. Although he was, um, you know, he, he did pretty good with the sideline catches. He just was, you know, that Patriots defense looks good. That's all I gotta say, guys. But here we go, DeAndre Hopkins. About 80K. Not that bad. Or 70K, whatever. Not that bad. West Coast scheme, which we will be walking schemes and chemistries in this video, in this series right now, for this week at least. So our next guy will be a guy who had some injury issues in his past, but now he's playing like a monster he is. Mr. Jordy Nelson. Alright, that's our second receiver. Our third receiver for the slot actually was a comment that came in and they said they wanted to see Color Rush Javaris Landry. So we will be using him for this video. So let's go to Javaris and here we go. Javaris Landry and now for our tight ends, I'm going to keep Charles Clay guys. But the backup is going to be Gary Barnage. The cover rush man himself, Gary Barnage. So that will be a backup. If you guys do not know, I do want two tight end sets. So that's the reason why this is actually a really good pickup for myself. So Gary Barnage. And now let's go on to defense. So let's actually set my offense up and make sure everything is working well. I tried to make to make sure I had the best chemistries going as possible. And I hope I was able to achieve that pretty nicely. So, of course, DeAndre Hopkins right there. I did not mean to click to the defense. And then second guy we have here is going to be Jordy Nelson. And then I'm going to put DeAndre Hopkins in the slot. So, let's put you in the slot, DeAndre. And it looks like chemistry-wise... We have the West Coast, which you need, how many of that? Three, four, five, six, seven? Holy crap, you need seven players on the West Coast scheme in order to walk this scheme in. Hmm. Now, Power One, how many, right, I need one more Power One guy. 
currently I have four, so I have one, two, three, four, okay. Hmm, how am I gonna work this, guys? Is any of these receivers power run or vertical SEO? Hmm, kinda wanna run, I wanna get some chemistry going there, but let's look on the defense before we do that. This is what the defense, you know, base defense is gonna look like. We are going for a 4-3 defense, guys. And again, somebody commented and said they want to see Reggie Nelson and Loyal Malloy. What I'm going to try to do with these videos, I'm going to try to put the comment on the screen if I can find it. But, um, yeah, so Reggie Nelson being the Bengals free safety. Or, he's not a Bengals anymore, right? He used to be a Bengals, and his flashback will be a Bengal. So here we go, guys. Miss o Nelson adding to the squad. And again, strong safety, they want to see Loyo Malloy. So we definitely will go pick him up. Uh, strong safety for the Patriots. And, okay, that's not him. Which is kind of weird that he's going for that much when a 90 overall Malloy. Oh my god. Come on, people. Do not put this card up for this much. Let me see how much he goes for in my head. This might actually not be an overpriced card, but I did see I, I did see him up for 90k a little while ago, and yeah, my head has him going for 90k. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm going to actually can I complete his set? I might complete his set in this video, guys, because if I can complete his set, I definitely will do that. We'll see if he has a set. Um, team heroes, legends. Here we go. Um, he should be not not Larry Wilson, although he was a beast when I used him. Um, I can complete a set. Okay, let's see if I can do a set for cheap. His set will cost about six seven k a collectible, and then his actual player collectible goes for about thirty k. So guys, remember if you ever want to do a set and the player is too much on the auction house, always look to do the set. So. This is going to cost me about, what is this, 10 plus 30k. It's going to cost me about 95k to do. I don't mind doing it. Definitely because it saves me about 10 to 15k from buying a the auction house. So, yeah, I always recommend you do the sets if you can, guys. Because sometimes people put up cards with crazy prices. Just complete the set, save a lot of coins, and don't worry about that. So... 5900 I should be able to get this card for less than 90k that is my goal so let me just go to actually not oh, what I can go to is I need nine more of these right so let me go to my uh, binder and then I can actually just buy nine more of them in my binder and then that will that's what we can do so let's go to newest let's go to loyal Malloy. let's go to this and now we can just buy these collectibles 65 so that's what that's two more three more it actually might have been cheaper to buy the card i might have mistake made a mistake here guys now hey, you live in your line yeah crap okay ah oh, crap yeah it might have been cheaper to buy the card what is that six now uh yeah i need four more so again whoa what Okay, well, should have just bought the card, but, you know, again, once again, you live in your life. Will I be able to complete this? Am I going to be one short, really? Oh, do not tell me I'm one short, guys. I'm one short. <laughs> um, I'm going to need someone to put up this card on the auction house. Okay. Um, yeah, that might be not the best there. Let's go on to the next card. Next card we're going to get is going to be Anthony Barr. And that card is going to be an 84 overall elite. But the reason why I'm going to get him, even though he is not that high of an elite. Um, actually, let me check out his higher overall Friday night card. We'll see how much that's going for. Unless that's going for like a crazy price, I might pick it up. Elite, let's see how much it Okay, so it's not in the auction house. Let me check his price on my head. Um, I want to get rid of pick specialist. 
Always a good thing to do guys is check my head prices if you're not sure on a card's price. Okay, so he's unknown price. Is he only up on like th uh, Thursday night or whatever? Yeah, it looks like he's not up. So I will be going with the gold version just because the other version is not up currently. He goes for 12k. Eh, kind of makes sense. Alright, so there we go. We got him. Next guy I will be going with is going to be um, another Color Rush player. And then it's going to be a Cowboys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually see if they actually um, put it up. Because that hopefully is what they did. So that I can get this um, Loyal Malloy set done with. So once again, kind of sucks that I, you know... It costs less to buy the card. I thought that it would always. Uh, sorry, I thought it cost more. Um, the seven minutes might be the one we go for, unless someone puts up another one. So once again, let's actually just put the pieces into our defense. I'm not gonna have strong safety currently because of that reason, but it's whatever. Free safety Reggie Nelson. Left outside linebacker will be. Anthony Barr. Could have went with Kevin Smith there. But I went with Kevin Smith last week. And I kind of don't want to, you know, overdo the same exact one over and over again. So let's check if Loyal Malloy, anybody put up those collectibles. If you guys, if you wore the MVP to put up those collectibles, definitely comment down below. Unless you put it up for like 100k because you want to be that guy. So don't, then don't comment down below. <laughs> don't comment down below and say, yeah, I put that card up for 100k because it's going to be stupid. Um, okay, so our next middle linebacker is going to be CJ Mosley. So let's go to middle linebacker. Let's go to um, Ravens. And it looks like there's actually a goal CJ Mosley, but we will be going with the elite color wash player, CJ Mosley. And let me just double check to make sure people aren't putting his card up for some crazy prices, too. Um, let's see. Go back. Sorry, guys. The way I'm doing all this is checking muthead.com. So I can check prices. Okay. Yeah, he goes for 46k. And we'll go with him. 2014k. Okay. So, next guy we're going to look at is going to be a white outside linebacker. And his name is Sean Lee. Definitely a beast and a half, so let's go with oh god. Oh, that one person doesn't like that term. Um tank and a half. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny guys, it's funny. Alright, so that's what we're gonna go with there. And once again we're gonna check Loyal Malloy. I just wanna complete this set. I don't wanna mess with the set anymore, guys. So I just wanted this set to be over with, but it looks like it's not Oh, okay. Let's actually bid on this. Obviously, someone is going to go try hard and try to beat us out for this, but it's whatever. Okay, so we might have a live bidding, uh, you know, bidding thing in this video. Let's go with that. All right, Sean Lee goes right here. CJ Mosley is going to go right here. And we should have a 4-3 chemistry thing going on, too. Do we? Let's see. Four, three, and someone outbid me because they went dry hard. Okay. We are going to beat this person out on this video in this bidding war for this collectible. So get ready, guys. This might be a longer video depending on how long this person wants to go try hard with trying to get this collectible. We will see. Teamwork here. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have right end, and that right end will be the Eagles right end. Go with right here, Brandon Graham. Let's put him in the um, on defense, and it should be looking pretty good. Now, the only way I'm not going to bid on this card is if um, I am able to buy him. Obviously, I do understand that this kid is going to go try hard, but we will see how that works out, and we will see if we can win. So that means this is all tier 1, okay, so to get to tier 2, we already have tier 1 West Coast. To get to tier 2, you need uh, two more players. Same thing with tier 1 of um, 
fourth away, we need two more players to get to tier two. Which tier two is just, you know, t plus two block shed, plus two pursuit, and stuff like that. So, not too much more. Um, let's see if we can actually just buy the Loyal Malloy collectible and not have to worry about fighting with this kid for the collectible. Come on, someone else put up the collectible so we can get rid of this set all together and get it done with. Ah, oh, great. Six more people joined. Ah, oh, great, great, great. Okay, so... Hopefully we're able to do that in this, I mean, uh, get this whole thing done in this whole, um, episode. But I don't know how well it's going to be. So, next player we will be going for, guys, is we will be going for cornerbacks. And our cornerbacks, our next cornerback we will be going for. Last episode we had Champ Bailey, and honestly that didn't work out too well for us. So we will be going for elite cornerback, and you probably see his face on the screen right now. And it's um, Jamon Williams, which, let me see how much he actually goes for, because I know this is not the actual price of him. Ah, uh, let's see. 85, 85, 85. He goes for 50k, okay? So that's not too bad. It's only 10k over. 15k over. So this will be our next guy, Jamon Williams. And that should wrap us up for the team, other than trying to get Loyal Malloy. Which is not really working out for us right now. Okay, so we have a minute 43 left, guys. I don't know how much I want to bid up this collectible before I just give up on it. So I'm going to try my best to keep going with this kid. And who knows, maybe we'll just keep going till we win. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to be pretty entertaining just for the fact that this will probably going to be going to like 70k with this kid on this collectible. I, I call him a kid. I don't know why I call him a kid. I, I just, I call everybody a kid. That's just how I walk, guys. Alright, so we have a minute 10 left. Comment down below real fast. Do you think I'm going to win this? Or do you think I'm going to actually end up getting, just overall, just quitting the bid because of how high the price goes? How high do you think this price will go, guys? Comment it down below. I'd love to know how high you think this kid is going to bid this card up before he eventually gives up on the card and gives me the card. So I'm going to wait till like 10 seconds to bid. Maybe he like went away and maybe he was like, oh yeah, I'm getting the card, not really paying attention. That's my goal, guys. You never want to bid right away. You always, oh, I put my bid in there right away to kind of, you know, throw out the bid, see what I can walk with. And now, I'm like a shark, you know? I'm like, I'm like Jaws. I'm coming back in. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I'm coming back in. He's not thinking. He's not watching this. And he's just going to be sitting there, you know, maybe playing on his phone. His mom just calling him down for dinner time, and bam! Attacked. Attacked right there, guys. Bam, look at that. Are you kidding me? Like, okay. Okay, apparently this kid was actually just sitting on this Xbox, so. He was actually sitting on this exact card. Because it's that, it's that important. Okay. You know what? No, 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 no. I I'm all good, guys. I'm just going to, you know, walk away a little bit. He thinks I'm, he thinks I'm in another room. Then I come right back. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay, this kid. Oh my god. All right, kid. Come on. We can't be. We can't be going all day with you. I knew this wasn't gonna be easy because sometimes this is important to people. So can't ever be easy with this. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, I raise you up to three k. Oh. Okay. You. He just see. I'm like strategically coming in at different points, you know, trying to make this all good. This man's like, I'm bidding because I just want to put my bid in. He doesn't even care. He's just like, yeah, I don't, I don't care waiting. I don't care this. I'm just gonna bid and take the price higher than you. So, this man right here, I have all the coins in the world, man. I have 567,000 coins. I can walk all day against you in this one. <laughs> this will be an all-day event. If you would like to make it, I would do not mind making this an all-day event. I almost bid myself, because this kid is bidding so quick. Hmm, let's see. Come on, man. Just give up. Give up. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. 
Come on, it's it's over. It's over, man. That guy. That guy. That's the guy, guys. That's the guy. He tried to pull my move by coming in the last second, sliding into my DMs. He does. He did it. He did it right there. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, man. <laughs> I'm turning this this into like a WWE match just because I want this card. <laughs> WWE SmackDown, guys. 2K16. 2K, yeah, 16 it is. Um, well, it's like uh, 2016. Uh, is he gonna be the Jaws? Is he gonna be Jaws? Dun 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 dun. Did we win? Did we actually win, or is it gonna say that he bit at the last second? Looks like we won, guys. That's why you don't go against Jaws. And actually, that's why you bid on cards. Because this card normally goes for like 6 to 7k. I got it for 4k. That's why you bid on cards. The bidding wars, guys. The bidding wars. Alright, for 4,400 coins. Whenever EA would like to give me the card, I would appreciate it. Let's put all these cards in my, um, into that set now. And again, I realized I overspent for this set by a lot of coins. Actually, how much coins did I actually spend on this set? Let's see. Go over. Spent 30k for that. I bought like 12k for two collectibles. 7,900. I think it was like 8,900. Then it was like 9,000. Then, yeah. Let's see how much that is. 37k. I don't think I sp overspent too much. I just spent a lot. <laughs> that's that's the main problem I had. I spent a lot, but I didn't overspend too much. He better be great. He better be great. Whoever, oh, sorry, whoever commented to get this card, he better be great. He better make Madden great again. Let's go and see um what he looks like in my lineup, and it's going to tell me that I just got the card. Oh no. Maybe not. Okay. Because I already put him into the set. Alright, so let's put him into my lineup once again. I'm gonna put him right here. And now we are an 83 overall. And then once we put our cornerback in, we should jump up a little bit higher of an overall. So now we're an 86 overall. And we make Joe Hayden an 89 overall because of this chemistry we have going. And now we have a uh, big hitter chemistry lockdown. Uh, tier 1. We have Pick Specialist Lockdown. We have West Coast Tier 1 Lockdown. We have 4-3 Scheme Tier 1. And now Power Run. We need one more guy to get Power Run. Do we have a Zone 1 guy? Zone 1. Oh, our center is a Zone 1. Hmm. We just need one more power one and it has to be either left guard or center we're gonna go and try it out guys wait oh yeah we also need one more player also we need a free safety a backup who's going to be you probably could guess it i have his jersey guys mr eric barry i love eric barry you guys do not know i love cam chancellor i love eric barry they're my favorite players in the nfl so <laughs> i'm gonna freaking support them to the end of time and Eric Barry, you always, will, every single week, if he's a starter or if he's a backup, he'll be on his squad. Now, Cam Chancellor will walk him around and see how he walks in the squad. I actually might pick him up. I might pick up Cam Chancellor again. Um, what, what's it called? Um, who do we need again? Hmm. Who was it? Forget who it was. So focused on Eric Barry. Oh yeah, we need a uh, center or left guard that's a uh, West Coast. Or power one. And it looks like Michael Tulpati is going to be our guy. So Tulpati, you are now a member of the That Much Gamer Squad. Oh yeah, and we did get a comment saying that we should run or use, um, what's it called, cover wash uniforms and we will. We will be running the 49ers uh, all black, and we will be running the Beats away. So sadly, we cannot run an away uniform that's Color Rush. But if we are at home, we will be playing at home with the uniforms. So that means we will be running that. And let's go with Micah Topati. And does that mean we'll completely... 
power one. We need two more people. Hmm. Uh, the only thing we could do is get another quarter, a quarterback that's power one. But I don't think... Unless Tom Brady's power one, I don't think it's really going to affect it. Um, we could get center this power one. Nah. Oh, we forgot to put Gary Barnage in. That's a problem. And then we're going to put you here. And this week we actually... Wait, no, no. Not you. I, I, want, I want you to be my starting free safety. Um... Well, actually, what we're probably going to do, guys, is we're not going to go champ chancellor this week. We're going to give Calvin Pryor a chance because I do want to definitely uh, try out new players. Eric Berry is joining us just because he's like, you know, he has to be in here. Cam Chancellor, it kind of is just a fact of his skill level that makes him really good in this game. But we're definitely going to give someone else a chance. We're going to give Calvin Pryor a chance. We didn't give him a chance last week, so let's give him a chance this week. Um, so we have chemistry is locked down, guys. We have chemistry to alcoholics here. Um, anyone else we can get a chemistry in? So, four, three, power one, pick specialist, and big hitter. Okay. So, this is our squad, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Once again, here's our offense with Gary Barnage, the cover rush master himself. And then here's our defense. And remember, next Monday through Saturday will be online gameplay. So definitely check back on the channel to see all that. See you guys in the next one. Hey guys, here we go. We are playing the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl 51. Can we win? Or will Carolina finally win a Super Bowl? I mean, if we beat them, they will have lost two Super Bowls in a row, which will be very, very disappointing. Now, both quarterbacks, as you can see, didn't have the most favorable season. Obviously, I know my quarterback, Joe Flacco, had an awful season. and But Cam Newton didn't really have that good of a season, especially compared to last year. Uh, compared to this year, I don't think he had as good of a season. But here you go, here you go, guys. Your Baltimore Ravens running out. No John Harbaugh running out with the team. I think James Hurst on that. On that, like, when they were running out. I think he was the most excited player. I don't know why. I just think he was. But here are your Carolina Panthers being led by Cam Newton. And yes, guys, Steve Smith Sr. will be fighting for a for his first ring versus the team that he didn't get his ring with when they lost to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. So, it's kind of interesting to see that. Ron Rivera, Riverboat Ron... Taking his team back to the Super Bowl, trying to win. John Harbaugh already, you know, I th he won a no in the Super Bowl. What was it? Billick? Yeah, Billick was the one who won the Super Bowl with the Ravens in 2000. Now it's John Harbaugh, of course. Can he get his second Super Bowl win? CJ Mosley, the young rookie, not rookie anymore, but young linebacker. Uh, Sean had the Bills winning. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Sean had the, um, Ravens winning. I also had the Ravens winning. So right now, let me just keep a little record here. We all both won and know. So, um, Jets versus Bills. Obviously, the Bills look awful. Now, the Bills did have a deep bomb touchdown to, um, Goodwin. For this game, uh, this week of gameplay at least. Just because of the fact that the backups don't matter as much. Although, they matter a little bit. Just not as much. I'm actually going to put Terrence Williams at fourth here because we are going to get a new slot guy. And we need, you know, the room so we can add him to the starting lineup. Let's go to exit screen. And now our next player will be our wide receivers. So now, guys, when it comes to our wide receivers, we will be picking up, let's see, one, two, yeah, three wide receivers here, guys. So our first wide receiver will be a guy on the left hand side of the field and he's none other than deandre hopkins obviously being a beast he is and especially last night all the, i mean not last night thursday night although he was um you know he, he did pretty good with the sideline catches he just was you know that patriots defense looks good that's all i gotta say guys but here we go deandre hopkins about 80k not that bad or 70k whatever not that bad. West Coast scheme, which we will be walking schemes and chemistries in this video, in this series right now. 
for this week at least. So our next guy will be a guy who had some injury issues in his past, but now he's playing like a monster he is, Mr. Jordy Nelson. All right, that's our second receiver. Our third receiver for the slot actually was a comment that came in and they said they wanted to see Color Rush Javaris Landry. So we will be using him for this video. So let's go to Javaris and here we go. Javaris Landry and now for our tight ends, I'm gonna keep Charles Clay guys, but the backup is going to be Gary Barnage. The Color Rush man himself, Gary Barnage. So that will be a backup. If you guys do not know, I do want two tight end sets. Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of my auction block series. So today, guys, we I will be building a team based on your comments and the players you want to see added to the squad. So obviously, let's get right into it. First player that um I have I got commented uh, yeah, got commented and wanted someone wanted to see what came from Jay Hall. You said you want to see Adrian Peterson. So that is one player we will be using. Another comment came in saying that they want to see Terrence Williams. So that will be also someone we, we will be using. So let's get on to the auction house and see what cards we will add. My team is set up to how I want it based on, you know, how it's going to be. So let's get right into it. First ad we will make is at quarterback. We had a comment come in from... It's going to be difficult finding all of your comments, guys, but I will try my best here. Okay, I'm not going to be able to find comments, so let's just go with what the names are. The guy, someone commented and said they want to see Drew Brees, so we'll start with quarterback, and we it was between Tom Brady and Drew Brees. I flipped the coin, guys, and Drew Brees did win, so... We will be going with Drew Brees to start it off. Let me make sure it's the cheapest one. Yeah, not cat value. Saints. And again, remember the next six days, Monday through Saturday, will be online gameplay. And here is the cheapest Drew Brees. Uh, so starting off right away, that is our quarterback, Mr. Drew Brees. Again, our running back will be Adrian Peterson. Backing him up will be David Johnson. Um, I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do too is I need nine more of these right so let me go to my uh, Binder and then I can actually just buy nine more of them in my binder and then that will that's what we can do So let's go to newest Let's go to loyal Malloy. Let's go to this and now we can just buy these collectibles 65 so that's what that's two more three more it actually might have been cheaper to buy the card. I might have mistake, made a mistake here, guys. Now hey, you live in your line. Yeah, crap. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it might have been cheaper to buy the card. What is that? Six now? Uh, yeah, I need four more. So again. Whoa, what? Okay, well. Should have just bought the card, but, you know, again, once again, you live in your line. Will I be able to complete this? Am I going to be one short? Really? Oh, do not tell me I'm one short, guys. I'm one short. <laughs> um, I'm going to need someone to put up this card on the auction house. Okay. Um, yeah, that might be not the best there. Let's go on to the next card. Next card we're going to get is going to be Anthony Barr. And that card is going to be an 84 overall elite. But the reason why I'm going to get him, even though he is not that high of an elite. Um, actually, let me check out his higher overall Friday night card. We'll see how much that's going for. Unless that's going for like a crazy price, I might pick it up. Elite, let's see how much it is. Okay, so it's not in the auction house. Let me check his price on my head. Um, I want to get rid of pick specialist. Always good to definitely will go pick him up. Uh, strong safety for the Patriots. And 
okay, that's not him. Which is kind of weird that he's going for that much when a 90 overall Malloy. Oh my god. Come on, people. Do not put this card up for this much. Let me see how much he goes for in my head. This might actually not be an overpriced card. But I did see I, I did see him up for 90k a little while ago. And yeah, my head has him going for 90k. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm going to actually can I complete his set? I might complete a set in this video, guys. Because if I can complete a set, I definitely will do that. We'll see if he has a set. Um Team Heroes, Legends. Here we go. Um he should be not not Larry Wilson. Although he was a beast when I used him. Um, I can complete a set, okay. Let's see if I can do a set for cheap. His set will cost about 6 7k a collectible. And then his actual player collectible goes for about 30k. So guys, remember, if you ever want to do a set and the player is too much on the auction house, always look to do the set. So, this is going to cost me about... What is this? 10 plus 30k. It's gonna cost me about 95k to do. I don't mind doing it. Definitely because it saves me about 10 to 15k from buying him off the auction house. So yeah, I always recommend you do the sets if you can guys. Because sometimes people put up cards with crazy prices. Just complete the set, save a lot of coins, and don't worry about that. So 5900. I should be able to get this card for less than 90k. That is my goal. So let me just go to actually not oh, what I can go. To. So that's the reason why this is actually a really good pickup for myself. So Gary Bondage, and now let's go on to defense. So let's actually set my offense up and make sure everything is working well. I tried to make to make sure I had the best chemistries going as possible, and I hope I was able to achieve that pretty nicely. So, of course, DeAndre Hopkins right there. I did not mean to click to the defense. And then second guy we have here is going to be Jordy Nelson. And then I'm going to put DeAndre Hopkins in the slot. So, let's put you in the slot, DeAndre. And it looks like chemistry-wise, we have the West Coast, which you need how many of that? Three, four, five, six, seven? Holy crap, you need seven players on the West Coast scheme in order to walk this scheme in. Hmm. Now, Power One, how many? Right, I need one more Power One guy. Currently, I have four, so I have one, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm, how am I going to walk this, guys? Is any of these receivers Power One or Vertical, SEO? Hmm. Kind of one of one. I want to get some chemistry going there, but let's look on the defense before we do that. This is what the defense, you know, base defense is going to look like. We are going for a 4-3 defense, guys. And again, somebody commented and said they want to see Reggie Nelson and Loyal Malloy. What I'm going to try to do with these videos, I'm going to try to put the comment on the screen if I can find it. But, um, yeah, so Reggie Nelson being the Bengals free safety. Or, he's not a Bengals anymore, right? He used to be a Bengals, and his flashback will be a Bengal. So here we go, guys. Miss O'Nelson adding to the squad. And again, strong safety. They want to see Lawyer Malloy. So we.